Welcome to another Crossroads Connect video. And today I want to focus on the fall. And maybe you're thinking, no, no, we don't want to talk about the fall yet. There's lots of summer left and you're just going to turn me off. Just give me a second. <laughs> there are so much good things that come up in the fall for here at Crossroads in our ministries. And a good thing that showed up this week is Josh Sissons. He showed up as our youth associate pastor just started yesterday. So I thought it'd be a great opportunity to introduce you to him. So Josh, why don't you just tell us a little bit about yourself? Yeah, so I'm from Victoria, British Columbia. Um, I really love sports and being outdoors, hiking and uh, board games. And uh, my wife, Rebecca, is pregnant with our first child. So that she, well, we don't know the gender yet, but okay. he or she will be coming at the end of January. Wow, awesome. So you came out here for the weather, of course, from Victoria. Na naturally, naturally. Naturally. Yeah. So as uh, you've been here one day, so I'm sure you've been doing a lot of thought around some of this with Pastor Rob. But tell me, what's one of the things you guys are looking forward to as you kind of relaunch our youth program for the fall? Yeah, we're just really excited to connect with students. Um, me especially being new, I'm just really excited to connect with students. And we just really want to make sure everyone feels comfortable and safe. And that's one of our big priorities. Yeah, that'd be one of the challenges going into the fall, I guess. Uh, is that something that we need to be praying for? What, what would you say to us as a congregation, how we could come alongside the youth program as you try to relaunch? How can we pray for you? Yeah, I think, like I just said, just praying for us as we connect with students, as I connect for the first time, and it's been a while since we uh, have seen you guys, so we're just really excited to reconnect, but uh, just know that there's, with COVID, it's uncertain with certain things and what will change and what will stay the same, so just pray for that as we navigate that. Yeah, thanks, Josh. You know, there's a lot of people in our, in our Crossroads community who are doing um, fresh things this fall, and I, I think about our teachers. I know we have a lot of teachers in our community, and as they head back into the classrooms, I know there's a lot of unknown. How are they going to interact with the kids mm -hmm. and treat them really well, be you know attentive to their needs and not be too close? How do you keep little kids from playing all over each other and touching each other? And I, it's the same for youth, I know. And then for us here at Crossroads, our kids program is launching again September 6th. And so, you know, a lot of our ministry staff are trying to figure out some of the same things. Like, how do we help these kids serve kids really well, not to have fear on our face for them or for each other? And how do we just engage them with the love of Jesus and uh, connect them to each other in community? Because they really need a relationship with one another. Um, so we have that going on this fall. So you can pray for uh, our teachers in our schools. You can pray for our ministry leaders in our kids program, our youth program, like you're involved with Josh and, you know, our young adults. And then we also know that Celebrate Recovery has started up again, if you're interested in that program, and they're trying to figure out how to do this best. And we know we have Alpha coming, and they'll have small groups are trying to launch, and they're asking lots of questions about, you know, how do we do a small group really well? And how do we obey, you know, kind of what the heart of the government's saying mm -hmm. about protecting each other, but how do we actually care for each other and actually connect really well without being afraid? And so we know that in COVID, lots of people, again, have different feelings about how to respond, how to, you know, pretend it doesn't exist completely, or some are just, you know, upset when people don't wear masks, all, all that's together. And we love all of you, actually, in that same thing. And what we really long to do as a ministry lead team, when it comes to working with kids and youth and young adults and our adults, is just learn how to help each other love Jesus really, really well and then how to love each other well in this season, respecting differences of opinion and still connecting in authentic community. So would you, I guess, join with me and Josh and our teachers and our ministry leaders and just being prayerful that we would ask for good wisdom as we lead our ministries, as our teachers try to lead their classrooms, um, that we would just honor again Jesus at all times, how we treat each other and how we uh, treat the people we're serving in our ministries. So if you can be prayerful, um, as we head into this fall, we know that God's going to do some amazing things. And we're really, really looking forward to it. And Josh, we're just so happy that you're actually here with us for this season.